the world at the moment is, is in this state of flux. Um, a lot of traditions and, and uh, conventions are being questioned by especially the young people. first questions everyone wants to know is, is it a boy or a girl? That question is usually answered by a doctor who makes their decision based on the appearance of the child's junk. Gender conditioning begins from there. Females are feminine and males are masculine. Never mind a masculine person who is anatomically female or a feminine person whose body is male and heavens forbid an intersex person whose anatomy is partly female and partly male. This documentary is going to talk about young trans people who do not identify as women nor men, and like increasing numbers of young people, identify in fluid ways, as something in between the poles of women and men, as moving within the spectrum of gender, or even completely separate to the ideas of masculinity and femininity. This documentary will show interviews with two young people who identify in this way. We'll let them introduce themselves. My name is Mish Glitter Pony. My name is Beck. Hi. I'm 23. I'm 23, I think. I do identify as a young person, yes. I work on a youth team, I better be young. To me, young would be about freedom and being open-minded and being willing to learn and explore and discover. Being a student makes you um, more likely to be youth um, because of the culture that you're engaged with at school or uni or whatever. Um, I kind of feel like not having a mortgage makes you youth. <laughs> and not having all of those like big responsibilities that tie you down. I identify as a lot of different things at different times and sometimes at the same time. Um, more recently I've been identifying as a trans woman but maybe a genderqueer trans woman but at the moment I'm feeling pretty gender non-specific. Um, other times I identify as like a boy trapped in a girl trapped in a boy um, and other times I just identify as a tranny or as a faggot, or as a trans fan. I identify as genderqueer because I don't like gender binaries and I don't identify with woman or man, but I also identify with both woman and man at the same time. And so I'm, I, I kind of feel like I flip between and among and within. Gender is an identity. It's nothing about the way that your body is. It's entirely about the way that you feel and think about yourself and about how society thinks and feels about you and your masculinity or femininity. Gender is the social construction of the roles and performance of particular sex. Sex is um, a medical, medical classification depending on people's bodies, chromosomes and hormones and reproductive organs. So sex is everything physical and biological and it includes like your genitals and your chromosomes. Yeah definitely I think it's more prevalent um, in youth but I think also it's just becoming more prevalent in everyone as time goes on but it's being picked up more by the youth, but like, even as time goes on, there are older people who are identifying as gender non-specific and identifying as gender queer. Thinking about gender and sexuality and non-binary genders is something that happens much more frequently among youth these days than it does among non-youth and than it does among people in the past. I think it's becoming more of a topic that people talk about and think about and challenge. Things around fashion are a lot more androgynous, I would say, and there is this culture of androgyny that even exists outside of the queer movement, and so that's something that's being seen everywhere, so it's easier to exist as that. Because the world's getting better, and we are allowed to talk about this stuff more without being beaten or just being told that we're stupid. You know, being young and being a trans um, can make things either harder or easier. I would say it can make things easier in a lot of ways by being a lot more free to express your gender 
um, how you want to and being able to identify how you want to rather than someone with a long history who may be married or have a, a family and kids that finding themselves wanting to needing to identify something else but being kind of feeling that they have to hold back in order to keep their family stable. Good, I think that visibility is the first step to acceptance. Yeah. <laughs>